Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This song patch has piano, pads, organ, bass, and synth all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here, up to here. Most of your sounds will be triggered in the lowest left hand range, down here. Then there will just be a piano sound from this note all the way up to this note. Then up here in this range, from here up, there is a piano sound and a synth sound layered on top. I do also want to note that there are some additional chords that do not belong in the original key. Those chords are as such, the flat seven chord, and the minor four chord, which is built off of the third of that chord, which is this note. Just be sure to reference your chord chart when playing all of these parts. You should know that if you go to play that minor four chord on the one of that chord, it will sound major because that's the chord that's in the key. There are some chord triggers that are programmed into this note that allow it to sound major. So if you want to play that minor chord, you will have to trigger that off of this note. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, your verses, pre-chorus, and down bridge. At halfway will be the chorus and the medium bridge, and all the way up is the big chorus. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. You can voice these chords however you'd like, but here's how I like to play them. For the verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. I typically voice these chords the same way as in the intro. Do note that there are some sections where you will lift up both of your hands and not play any chords at all. Depending on how your band decides to play this song, you may decide that you want to continue holding out the chord that you were on, which would be this note, and you can do so easily as well. When the verse comes back later in the song, you'll also have the song section control all the way down. Play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. The thing that makes this verse different is that during those sections where you don't play anything with both your hands, for this verse, you're going to play a piano riff. This riff will be in octaves, and it's pretty fast. Here's what it sounds like. This part matches the melody line of this part of the song, so you'll have to play it pretty quick. And you'll play it two times in that verse. So here's that verse all together.
for the pre-chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. You can voice these chords however you'd like, but I typically voice them the same way as in the verses. The only chord that will be different in this section is the minor 4 chord, which if you remember from the beginning of the tutorial, you'll have to play the third of that chord in order to trigger it, which is this note. Then in my right hand, I just like to play that chord like this. And you'll play both of the pre-choruses the exact same way. For the chorus, you'll have the song section control at halfway. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. I also like to pulse my chords a little bit and add some improvisations during this part just to help fill the space and build this section. The second time you play the chorus, it'll be a double chorus, so you'll play it two times through and you'll play everything the same way. Then towards the end of the song, you'll play the chorus again. This chorus comes back first as an acapella part. I like to drop out entirely, but if you decide that you still want to continue holding out chords, you can do that as well. There is no pad triggered in this upper left hand range. But if you choose to hold out chords, I do recommend just playing up in this upper range, like this. And just allowing that sustain to fill the space. If you want to hold out the pads and organs that are triggered in the lower octave, then I recommend bringing the song section control all the way down and holding that out. On the third line of this chorus, you'll want it to be big. So you'll want to bring the song section control all the way back up and you'll play some stabbing parts in this third line like this. Then on the final line of the chorus, you'll come back in with the right hand as well. Then you'll play another time through the chorus big. At the very end of the song, you'll play a tag, which is just the last line repeated two more times. Just watch for all of those parts in the demo video. the down bridge, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand, and your right hand will play an octave part up high. You can call this part the synth lead. Really, you're just going to be playing the same parts with your left hand and your right hand. Let me show you. And you'll continue that pattern throughout the entire first bridge. I do also want to note that during this part, you'll want to be quick with your pedal movements. You don't want to sustain both of those notes at the same time, so you want to be quick and refresh your pedal between them. On the repeat of the bridge, you'll move the song section control to halfway, and this will be the medium bridge. During this part, the chords change a bit more. You'll continue playing octaves in your left hand and a synth lead in your right hand. This lead will change. Now this lead line is something that I interpreted for this part of the song. So if you decide that you want to play a different part, you can do that as you would like. But here's what I like to play. So again, here's what those parts look like with just the right hand. Now 
Be sure to watch the full demo video to see all of these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds and I'll see you next time.